when you're suiting up to play the best team in the NFL, there's kind of one motto I like to keep in mind, and that's if you come at the king, you best not miss. The same message is going to apply to the team that we're playing in today's game, and that just might actually surprise you who it is. The number one team in the NFL right now is none other than the St. Louis Rams, really? Yeah, the Rams have only lost a single game so far this year. And if we're going to beat them, Isaiah King has to be in the end zone non-stop today. So we're going to see what Isaiah King can do. We're going to try to see if he can lead this squad today, carry some defenders on his back just like that play. Most importantly, be effective in the running game, be effective in the passing game. And hopefully this defense can, you know, get the job done. Now, so far in practice today, Isaiah King has brought it. He's got a couple of guys there and look at that, throws a defender to the ground. And that's what we needed, a big day of practice from Isaiah. Only had one failed attempt. We'll blame that on the offensive line though. But again, if you come at the King, you best not miss. Be ready, St. Louis Rams. And heading into one of the biggest games of the season, we're going to upgrade not just the juke move, but the spin move. We're going to have a little bit left over. You know what I'm saying? Based on how Isaiah King's been playing, I think catch the traffic is where to go. So upgrading all that makes him an 86 overall still. Again, his juke move is now sitting at a 94, and the spin move is now at a crispy 89. We'll get into a 90 soon enough, though. Heading into week number 10, Isaiah King is 160 yards away from 1,000 yards in the season. So we got to make sure the young fella puts on the show today, shows everybody who came to to play and we can dominate the St. Louis Rams. But look, the Rams are hungry. This team is seven and one right now. We're sitting at six and two. We want to make sure that our records are even after this game. But the Rams have a ridiculous defense. Aaron Donald in the front, safeties and cornerbacks all over the field. Sammy Watkins, the new addition on offense. Can we actually stop them on defense and put up enough points on offense to hang with them? We're about to find out. Look at Isaiah King Jr. He's so hyped. And DeAndre Hopkins is like, yo, little fella, you a little too crazy right now. Now, we're here in Los Angeles because, as I kind of messed up earlier, the Rams aren't in St. Louis anymore. They're in L.A., but we don't care where they are. We're about to run all over. It doesn't matter if they're in L.A., St. Louis, North Dakota, South Dakota, North Pole, South Pole. We're getting yards today. So third and seven now, and the Texans need to convert here early in the ballgame. But look at this. They're leaving them wide open. Have you not watched any game film of Isaiah King? He he destroyed not one, but two defenders on that play. What is going on? It might be early in the ball game, but Isaiah is out here destroying defense. Now he's got a good hole up the middle, but he gets destroyed by the safety, however. Now, what do you guys think of Isaiah King's accessory combos? He's got one sleeve red, one sleeve blue. It looks pretty cool if you ask me. I don't know what you guys think. Do you think he should keep it? Should he change it up again? Might be his signature look, though. Inside the red zone after a less than stellar run by Isaiah King Jr. We're going to go up the middle. All the time in the world, it goes to Fedor, which instead, and Fedor, which is going to dance a little bit in the end zone, celebrating with him, though, the best teammate of all time, Isaiah King Jr., as we get six points and likely seven, as long as our kicker makes the extra point. The Texans' first drive was nearly perfect. A great mix of passing and running the ball. But here, looks like Washington's going to get hit. He does dump it off to the right-hand side. Posh, the fullback, is going to catch it and then fumbles it. Luckily, it goes out of bounds, though. Now, second and six inside our own 20. We're going to go to a handoff to the outside. Isaiah King's got the move. He's going to split up the middle. But Aaron Donald, the nose tackle, runs down the field and wraps him up before he can go all the way to the house on that. Now, second and nine. Deshaun Watson's back in shotgun. Look at Isaiah King taking a crucial block there, leading to Hopkins, getting the ball down to the 33. I believe still about a yard shy he is but what a block by Isaiah now third and one the D line is pretty spread out so Isaiah is going to opt to run this one he gets some moves he goes right through the middle nearly took that one to the house what a way to end the first quarter for the Texans the Texans have been running the ball like crazy, so it was time to opt for a pass. So the play action fake, they're going to try to bait a couple people. This ball goes out to the left of Fedorovich, and he finds himself open again. Deshaun Watson, surgical on this drive. 7 of 8, 95 yards, and a TD in this game so far. Third and four for Houston, just outside of the red zone. We're going to put Braxton Miller in motion. Isaiah King's going to stick in the Wildcats, going to take the handoff, gets the block, then he needs, runs into his own man. That is a touchdown that unfortunately got stopped by his own guy not making a good enough block and knocks Isaiah down. Now second and 16 after that sack by the Rams, Isaiah King goes up the middle. This ball is thrown, it looks like to Will Fuller, but it's completely nowhere close. Third and 16, now Houston needs something positive. So Isaiah splits out again for the halfback screen. First one, I believe they've run all game. He's got a little bit of room here. He does get enough to get himself down to the 12. Should make it easier for a field goal, but not anywhere close to a first. As we're now two minutes away from halftime, it's pretty crazy to think that the Rams have kept Isaiah King Jr. out of the end zone and that pass won't put him anywhere closer. As we're just under two minutes now, it's kind of crazy to think that the Rams have kept Isaiah King Jr. out of the end zone for the entire first half. But look at that joke move, breaking two tackles. A third one finally brings him down, but he finds a way to push through and get that first. 
Now, second attempt with a minute and 30 left again. Isaiah King back for protection. This ball's going out. What a dime there to Wilson. Deshaun Watson can't hit Isaiah, but he makes a difficult pass and hits Wilson for a first. Lining up again in the Wildcat. We're going to see Braxton Miller move into motion. Second linebacker comes in. Isaiah King with the fake. He's going to get to the edge. Could they have it sealed? He's going to put on the afterburners. Can he get past the last two guys? He can. They drop him inside the 10. I think he ran out of gas there, but a crazy effort to nearly get the touchdown. Here we go. 30 seconds, second and goal. A touchdown here makes this game pretty much over for most people now possession catch for Isaiah but he doesn't get both feet in bounds a big mistake there for young fella here we go under 30 seconds on the seven yard line we just tried to get one to the corner to Isaiah it didn't work so third and goal we need a touchdown here to Sean Watson what do you got now Isaiah King splits out He's going to move out to the right-hand side. The pass is going to be thrown, maybe. No, not yet. Deshaun Watson still scrambling. This one is going to be a major sack. Houston goes way back on this one. It is fourth and goal, likely a field goal coming up. So here's a look at the instant replay for you guys. Connor Barman coming off the edge. Isaiah King slips out to the right-hand side. Isaiah probably could have had a pass. Deshaun Watson pump fakes a couple of times, sits in the pocket way too long. Should have stepped up, but that's a rookie mistake. What is going on? Isaiah King scoops it up. He's going. This is the craziest play I have ever seen. There's so many referees on the field. Isaiah King is running. He's out of stamina. He falls into the end zone. It is a touchdown. He didn't even line up as the punt returner. What just happened? So after that incredible play, Houston is going to line up for a two-point conversion. Now on the two, Isaiah King out to the right. He's wide open. They get the ball to him. That's a two-point conversion after the craziest punt return of all time. Yeah, everyone comes over to Isaiah and says, I don't know how you did it, but I'm glad you did it. And if you haven't already after that crazy punt return, you have got to hit the like button. Isaiah King is out here killing it. Can he get a second punt return? Probably a little less eventful, but he's going out to the left. He's got some blocks here. He's going to the edge. If no one is holding, Isaiah King is going to waltz into the end zone. His second pun return of the game. He gets tackled. He holds on to the rock. This guy is already a legend in his rookie season. And the good news for the Rams is that they finally score. Somehow the fans are still staying in the stadium, but Isaiah King has put on a show and he is leading this team. The rushing game hasn't really given him any touchdowns, but he's been killing it. But another special teams touchdown might be coming. Why is Isaiah King still blocking? Number 12 is gonna go all the way to the house. Isaiah King held his block and another special teams touchdown for the Texans, unreal. Two punt returns for a touchdown for Isaiah King. One kick return touchdown for Bruce Ellington. What else can this Houston Texans team do? Well, not return a third one, that's for sure. And here comes the stud. Started 11 for 87 and hasn't had to run the ball since because this half has been all about special teams. So I don't want to alarm anybody, but the Rams definitely scored again. So we're going to try to get something going in the running game. Yeah, it's getting flushed out pretty quickly. So second and nine, Deshaun Watson under center. We're going to make them think we're running it. Instead, we pass the ball. This one is thrown to the left. This one is going to get a couple of yards. It moves all the way down to the 23 for a gain of 12 and another first to keep those chains moving. So running up the middle, not really working. But what about the Wildcat? It's worked for the most part today. So we're going to try it here. The holes are right there. They're wide open. And Isaiah King, again, runs into his own teammates to keep from getting into the end zone. He's got to be disgusted right now. First and goal in the nine with Deshaun Watson underneath the center. They go to the play action fake. Isaiah King staying back. He's going to try to throw a block to Deshaun Watson scrambling. Is he going to get rid of it? Young rookie QB problems. Holding on to the rock too long, and that makes his second and goal from the 21. So with this big of a lead, and we want to make sure we chew the clock so we don't lose, we're going to go opt to run the ball. Now, the Rams were not expecting it, and Isaiah gets a couple of yards up the middle to make it second and goal from the 14 now. Third and goal is never easy, especially when you're doing it from the 14-yard line. So Isaiah King's going to move out to the right. He's got all the time in the world to Sean Watson. What are you doing? He looks like he may be running it. Looks like he may be throwing it. That one goes out of bounds, and yeah, fourth and goal, we're kicking a field goal. Our kicker has definitely got his work today, and it's a 38-13 lead for he makes an extra point. After he makes a field goal, excuse me, so Isaiah King back out here in the kick return game. He's going to cut back to the left. He's got some room here. He's got one guy in front. He's going to try to juke him out of his shoes. He does. He's going to drag a couple of defenders. They drop him at the 50, but now we've got a lot better field position. Can Isaiah King get a rushing touchdown? No, seriously. So the Los Angeles Rams literally had no chance today. I mean, at the start, a lot of people would have picked them, but then at the end of this ball game, it's a 38-13 to win for the Houston Texans. Jared Goff, yeah, I'm sorry, bro. Your hand's too small. You can't compete with this squad out here today. Isaiah put on the show 
from the special team side. Killed it running, killed it receiving, but special teams, that's where he shined today. So as we recap the stats really quickly, Deshaun Watson, 13 to 22, 160 and one passing touchdown. Isaiah on the ground went for 21 and 122. No touchdowns, a couple of broken tackles, however. Gurley goes 18 for 80 and golf two of eight. And receiving, Isaiah King has five for 60. I think he might have actually had the most receiving yards of anyone today, which is impressive. But what's really impressive would be what Isaiah King did from a punt return standpoint. Five punt returns, 184 yards, and two touchdowns. Yeah, this dude might be a legend.